This is pictures of girls all ripped up. Look at Somebody took pictures of girls and ripped them all up. What is this stuff, guys? Like, what is this? Who does this? Okay, guys. Are you ready for this one? So, we've done abandoned houses. We've done abandoned mansions. We've done abandoned time capsule houses. We've done abandoned time capsule houses that are like they're stuck in the 70s. But I've never done an abandoned time capsule mansion that's stuck in the 1980s. So this is a large mansion and uh, everything in this house is from the 1980s, from the looks of it. Maybe early 90s, but everything like the cleaning uh, supplies, um, there's luggage everywhere. And it's uh, all old, old, old style luggage. And it's got like Air Canada luggage tags from the 1980s. The, de the decoration in the house is from the 1980s. There is some evidence that the house has been maybe used um, in more modern times, but everything in this house, guys, screams 1980s time capsule. And this place is huge, guys. It's massive. We're gonna get lost walking through here. I've already done my pictures. I've already walked through and I sent Rhythm Rider some pictures and he and Zedding with Zay are hauling ass to get here right now. Guys, we got a lot of exploring to do here. So let's stop talking. Let's stop horsing around. Cue the music, cue the intro. I'll see you guys on the other side. This video is sponsored in part by Loom Cube. Loom Cube lives to help us create better content. Hit the link in the video description below to shop Loom Cube's wide assortment of products and use the code FREAKPHOTO at checkout for 10% off your Loom Cube purchase. Okay, guys, we're gonna start in the pool, all right? And uh, it's very disgusting. So we're gonna start like this and then I'm gonna scroll down, pan down here and there you go. The water is like a lime fluorescent green. There's so much algae in the bottom of the pool and you have so much natural light coming in through that window there and through the windows up top that it's basically making the water look as though it's glowing green. So here we are at the indoor pool on the far end of this abandoned mansion. So let's check out the other side from this angle here. All kinds of crap, like the algae in the pool, guys, is so thick, it's like it's growing its own grass. Can you see that right there? Look, it's like the pool is its own little ecosystem of growing algae. I'm not surprised that there wouldn't be like some frogs in there or something. So here's your diving board. And then you got this view all the way over. Again, fluorescent green water. Like that is some disgusting stuff going on in there. Look at that color, guys. Look at the color of that water. And here we've got a, uh, a hot tub. There's still water in the hot tub. And uh, it's looking pretty nasty as well. I think this here might be change rooms. Let's have a look and see what's in here. No, those are pumps right there, okay. And then through here, I believe we've got, uh, this is like a sauna, it looks like. No, this is a change room. Moving along, this is just a pool uh, maintenance room and there's uh, fuse boxes here. Okay, now, as we're walking through here, guys, I have to tell you, there's a lot of furniture in this house and it's all 1980s, 1970s, very, very tacky, very, very tacky. So here is a small kitchen. Just take a look through here. There's these really ugly looking chairs here. And then you got a nice big, uh, big old TV down there. So here's probably the biggest room, likely the entertaining room of the house. 
And so here's the bar. It's got like a tiki bar style. It's got uh, bamboo on the bottom. And then you have these three really interesting green, pink, and yellow rotary dial phones just sitting there. So weird, just so weird. And then sort of the centerpiece of the house, guys, is this spiral staircase that we'll get to in a second. But before we talk about anything, we have to talk about these chairs here. They probably have eight of these elephant chairs right here, guys. You see this? These things are so heavy. Like, listen to this. Watch. Wait, got to go this way. Like, these things are heavy. And these ones are elephants. These ones here, what's that? A moose? A cow? Anyways, weird stuff, guys. Weird, weird stuff. Now we're going to move up. And uh, here's this spiral staircase. And if you come on over here and you take a look down, there seems to be quite a bit of uh, possibly water damage going on down there. And it looks like they had a carpet and they pulled it up. But uh, it's not in very good shape. And you've got a lot of stains here on this, uh, I guess you'd call this a couch. And then there's a fireplace right there. Now what's weird, guys, is these balloons here. But they're not like, they look like they're infl inflated, but they're like really, really soft. Look, they're really soft. So these are old, old balloons. Now I'd say they may have been here for like maybe a year or so, maybe two years. But like if you look as we go around, there's many of them that have just been deflated and sad. Right, you see? So somebody had a birthday party here once. But guys, I'm telling you, nobody has lived in this house for a very long time. This is just the weirdest stuff going on here. Now, we're not going to go upstairs yet because we still have more to see down here. So we're going to leave this main room. We'll go say goodbye to our cow chairs or our ox chairs or whatever they are. And our elephant chairs over there. And we'll make our way over here. And then this is interesting right here is you've got this skylight that comes from the roof down to the second floor, down to the basement. Weird, right? Okay, now we're gonna go into some of these bedrooms here. Now, guys, I don't know what's going on here because like there's stuff packed away in bags. There's clothes in suitcases. Like there's just so much stuff in here. It's like, it's like a hundred people tried to move in here all at the same time and then they all changed their mind and then they all left their stuff here. Like, look at, look at all of these perfectly nicely folded clothes, guys. Pants and sweaters. And then there's shoes. Oh yeah, hey, what's up guys? And then we got a bathroom in here. Now you got your standard toilet right there, right? And then you've got your shower. And what do we always see? We always see a bidet. There it is, guys. A bidet. But I've never seen a bidet with a sponge on it. So. There's an old ghetto blaster. There's me. What's up, guys? Now, the other thing about this house, guys, is there's power. And they have a light on in almost every single room but there's no running water. Super, super strange. Now here guys, going back in here, speaking of clothes, so here you've got bags upon bags upon bags of stuffed animals, okay? Towels, and then on the bed, you've got clothes everywhere. Bags and bags of clothes. Here's another bathroom. Shower, toilet, what's up guys, check out the light bulbs, those are old, old, old light bulbs, and then speaking of luggage, more luggage guys, 1980s luggage, come into here, and again we have two bedrooms, this bedroom right here, the ceiling is starting to fall. Again, a light on 
every room has a light on. And this room is full of blankets. And then this room, another bedroom with a couch and more old ass luggage. And look at these old Air Canada luggage tags. When was the last time anyone saw a luggage tag that looks like that? Right? Right. Now there's a bathroom in here. So we'll just give a what's up guys. And then check out this storage room guys in, inside here. And so this is from Honest Ed's. They bought this stuff at Honest Ed's. So look at the packaging. Okay, this is not modern packaging. Not even a little bit. And then we come through here and there's a, a wine rack there. And then down here, guys, more old luggage. I'm telling you, it's like these people moved here and then they changed their mind. And they decided they don't need their stuff anymore. Okay, so now we're gonna go up this staircase here. Up to the main floor, which is just as huge as the bottom floor. You can easily get lost in this place. So there, super long hallway. Okay, and then over here, there's a mirror. What's up guys? Okay, so we'll go this way. Now this is the kitchen and it's a mess guys. It's a disaster. So you have two ovens. Okay, you've got a very old microwave oven. Minute master. Look at the timer guys. Check out the timer. <laughs> That's unbelievable, guys. And then just, it's just full of stuff, guys. There's stuff everywhere. I don't even want to touch anything. I don't know what to say about this place, guys. But I've honest to God never seen a house quite like this. Like, look at all these light bulbs. But look how old they are. You know? Then they got another big old microwave. And then you have all these old ghetto blasters that have tape players. Okay, and then we come into this disaster here, guys. And on the floor, you've just got more crap everywhere. Just everywhere. Like, this is pictures of girls all ripped up. Look at Somebody took pictures of girls and ripped them all up. What is this stuff, guys? Like, what is this? Who does this? Look, look at this thing, guys. A belt massager. This is that thing that you stand on and it vibrates like crazy. <laughs> I've never actually even seen one of those in my life. And then, guys, here, I noticed there's like unopened alcohol. Look at this, watch. There's a bottle of unopened Jackson Triggs Cabernet Sauvignon. Not only is there one, but there's two of them, guys. Unopened wine. Come on over here and look at all these old style thermoses. Okay, old thermoses and more giant old thermoses. Crock pot, George Foreman grill. And then look at this guys. This is unbelievable. More and more and more unopened champagne, red wine, white wine, all just sitting here guys, unopened. 
you got a china cabinet here full of stuff old stuff and then there's another bathroom here what's up guys it's got a toilet in here standard okay guys we're gonna get into the big room now here is the foyer the grand master foyer of the house four giant skylights guys and you've got the room that nobody sits in right here you got a great big room with giant tall curtains you got tacky old furniture in the room that nobody sits in then you got these guys here there's a mirror what's up guys and then here there's another four skylights right here okay and they let a lot of light in and then you pan down and here's you've got your master staircase so you have four or five steps right here and then you come here to the spiral staircase and this will take you down to where we already were downstairs and then here guys is a massive massive living room it's huge goes all the way back there all the way across here over there there's desks everywhere there's music stereo systems everywhere look at this you've got a I guess that's a CD player I've seen a couple of record players in here there's one holy crap then over here guys more stereo equipment laser karaoke disc changer you've got a record player tape player equalizer receiver CD changer tape player VHS VHS and a big ass boxy old TV look at that right here look hey what is up guys Rhythm Riders in the house everybody I'll, I'll come meet you guys downstairs okay. what is up guys surprise bando with Urbex Jamie what is up guys hey hey what do you say brother good seeing ya what's happening nice to see ya nice UBJ, UBZ? What is that? Holy shit. Okay, guys, back to our regular scheduled urbexing. So we've been that way, we've been that way. And then we have leather couches and leather chairs. We got a grandfather clock over here. Some water damage coming from up there. There you go. Okay, and see, there's more lights on every room. It has lights on, guys. It's so weird. Okay, so now there's an office right here. So here you got the old man's desk and uh, his light is on as usual. Okay, there's his, his stereo, a little bit of a newer stereo than the other ones. And then there's a picture of grandma and grandpa or something. Now check out this room. Check out the curtains, guys floral print curtains beautiful but what's up with this though look at how dirty this is and then if you look over here at the bed it's dirty on this side too it's like somebody's hands were full of ink now there is something else that we're going to notice here guys it's probably going to make you laugh is that the beds have been made to look like there's somebody in the bed. So if you look at the end of the bed, that looks like somebody's feet. So they made it look like somebody still lives here. It did kind of freak me out when I came in. So there's a couch and a chair covered up. And then there's that floral print curtains hanging over that door right there, guys. Okay, anyways, so what is up, guys? And uh, here's your bidet and your toilet. They're pink, and they're definitely 1980s. 
Here is your 1980s pink jacuzzi tub. And what is up, guys, times three? Hey, there you go. Over there, over there, over there, over there. Hey, check this out, guys. Pink toilet paper. Look at it. Pink toilet paper and pink Kleenex, guys. Check this out. Pink toilet paper. Pink sink, pink everything. Okay, we're almost done. This bedroom here on the left, it's got people in the bed. See that? Come in here, you see that? It's supposed to freak you out, make you think somebody's home. Ain't nobody home. Look. Ain't nobody home. Another bathroom. Couple of mirrors. What's up, guys? Another bedroom with somebody in the bed. Can't fool me. Hey, look, look to watch this, guys. Hey, what is up, guys? Okay, guys, this one's been a crazy one. This is like a house I've never seen before. This is like 80s time capsule mansion, guys. Never, never seen anything like this before. Thank God Ridden Ryder got here. So now he's here to check it out. And we got uh, Urbex Jamie and we got Urbex Zay around here somewhere. But there he is right there. Urbex what Jamie. Up, guys? Big fat what is up, guys? Urbex Zay is around here somewhere. Their, their links are going to be down below. What do we always say, guys? Number one, hit that like button. Number two, hit that share button. Number three, drop me a comment down below. What's your name? Where do you live? How do you like my videos? Just say something, say anything. Number four, if you came to my videos and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button because you're going to like what you see. Thanks for watching, guys. I got to go home. Peace.